So, hello everybody. I will not do the time zone thing. Welcome to this edition of the Google Summer of Code uh, 2023 edition. Uh, and thank you to be, uh, to be here. Purpose of this meeting is to do uh, the usual round of uh, what's happening with people, what fun they have with their projects, what were the achievements. Another important topic is I want to double check uh, whether uh, the proposed date uh, for the presentation, so June 6, uh, is going to work uh, for most of us. So I know that um, Harsh is going to record a presentation. And I, I heard rumors that Vendit will not be available. The six Vendit will be. Will you be able to present in person, or will you need to record? Um, uh, I have my exams from three, but I think uh, and Chris also like uh, suggested that I should present it in in person, and I think I can do that. I have like managed my studies in that way, so I think I'll uh, present it in person. Okay, good. I, I appreciate the uh, the effort. Very good. We'll come back on on that to double check that all bolts are uh, tightened. Uh, that we're good for that. So first of all, uh, let's walk through the the project and see where we're standing. First one, I don't have my list because I don't have. I know. I know. I, I'm going to start with Chakruti because she's upper left. And please yell if I mix the things up. Jack Kruti, tell us what fun did you have this uh, this week? What happened? What can you share with us? Hello, everyone. So this week I have a good news to share. Adrian told me just now that my first GSOC probe will be live in production. So this is something I have to share. So let's hope it works fine. And uh, second thing, the probe I was working on last week, the third-party repository detection probe. That uh, probe actually requires, uh, what I could say, that probe is a little complex for me in the beginning because it has different, because a child can have pumps, a parent pump in different ways. Uh, so I discussed with the mentors and uh, the best solution was to actually make an effective pump. Uh, that we can decide uh, which child has which parent. So this project, uh, this part of the project is on hold now for now. And I just suggested that we do it in the second half of the GSA. So now I've started working on Jenkins security scan probe. In this probe, I have actually replaced a branch by a past contributor. And uh, I'm working on writing. So most of the code was done by them already. And I'm working on writing the test cases for the probe. That's all update I have. Good. Hey, that sounds interesting and good, good success. Can you just remind me, when is your probe going on production? Uh, Aiden told me by the end of the day. Shortly. Released, yeah, yes. shortly. Shortly. So, the drinks are on you, Chakruti. So you have to send or, or <laughs> open a virtual bottle to uh, everybody. And well, congratulations. Very good achievement. Thank you. So very good. Adrian, do you want to add something? Uh, yeah, the, the the fact that we postponed the uh, probe that Chakruti worked on from a, a week and a half uh, was due to something that I've ever seen and that I, I uh, a, a mistake on my side, uh, making uh, an, an assumption where uh, the project structures are identical everywhere and so on, and which is not the case. And uh, because of that, um, what Jagroti did was not wrong, definitely not, but was uh, assuming um, the structure and trying to deduce um, some elements from the structure. Uh, which is um, wouldn't give us a, a proper result. So we we decided to uh, we decided to uh, postpone uh, uh, the completion of that probe 
uh, we are definitely not throwing away uh, what Jagoti did uh, in, in a, a week and a half. Uh, we are just um, uh, trying to come up with a service that will uh, provide us the effective pump so that uh, what Jacote did will be able to, rather than re just reading one poem and trying to deduce parents and so on, we will provide uh, uh, the, the real poem that Maven is using um, to resolve, uh, to resolve uh, many uh, dependencies and plugins and so on. And so based on that, uh, once we have that entry uh, to feed uh, Jacote uh, prob, uh, her work uh, will be able. We will be able to resume uh, what she's done, and uh, it, it will be uh, a, a better solution. So uh, sure. really, the, 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 we didn't postpone because Jagoti didn't come up with a good solution. Uh, is just that the uh, requirement uh, for the prop to be uh, successful and um, or more than successful to be complete to be. Uh, Trustworthy uh, was not met because of me. So uh, really, this, this, uh, yeah. Why? Things happen, and it's good experience to see real life. Yeah, uh, exactly. And going like that. I'm really happy uh, to, to to because uh, we we saw that on Friday morning, my morning, so a few hours from now. Uh, uh, in, yeah, uh, was week. before now, uh, but on last Friday, a week. and. Uh -huh. um, Jagoti was able, uh, we, we, we found a prop for Jagoti to uh, work on during the weekend and so on. And uh, she managed to uh, switch context and so on really quickly. So that was nice to I see. Like, so. I like to hear these stories that that's uh, very good and confirms why Jagruti has this, this smile. So I always like the Jagruti smile. Uh, this said, um, do you intend to do some buzz? about the the first probe let's first see if it goes in production without problems so but normally it shouldn't be a problem uh we are i'm just waiting for the for a, a pull request on the uh, kubernetes management project to be uh, merged and uh, that which should happen shortly um technically it's not jacotti's first pull request in uh on the project that lives in production so oh okay um, so it, it's, it's the first one in the JSOC project, in the JSOC context, but it's not the first one uh, okay. to live in, Just in production. Suggestion, the two of you, eventually you can liaise with uh, Elisa there, thinking it uh, would be worthwhile to uh, either update the project page uh, on Jenkins.io yeah. or uh, look if a little tweet can be generated or or uh, a little blog post or what well, yeah I, I, let's was, come. I was thinking along the line of a blog post would be good detailing the your know, progress and you know what you've done um and then i can definitely send out a tweet and a linkedin i think that would always be good blog post okay uh, especially as we're we're slowly reaching the the midterm uh, uh, presentation and and uh, doing some public relation there, it's also a tip for the other projects. Uh, right. Bragging is something that our parents uh, told us to uh, not to do, but let's be proud of the fun we had and and what we what we've done very good thank so you so technically if somebody has... by the end of this of this meeting the uh, the prop will be live in production because the pull request was just there by in front. hey good so even we we have it live here so good modern technology uh, if somebody wants to add or ask something on jack Ruti's project just leave a little blank And then we'll move to the next one on my screen here being harsh. Harsh, what happened? What did you have fun with this week? Um, I, I created the plan for the second milestone and I discussed it with Mark. And after creating the plan, I tried implementing it. 
but I faced some problems because of the difference in design of the old GitLab plugin. So the new uh, GitLab 4G library has uh, implemented its webhook quite differently because of because of the difference in class hierarchy that it has, and the GitLab plugin is quite different with it. So I had to struggle a bit to, to try to get it work. Like I had to uh, adjust some meetings with Chris just to discuss what the problems I was facing and the design problems that I was facing. So I'll have to work a bit on uh, work a bit more on this thing. Like uh, I. 40 to 50% I wrote the code, but after that it, it got quite difficult. So I'll have to discuss more technical problems because in the mm. previous project meeting, only Mark was there, like Chris and Basil was not, were not there, uh, unfortunately. So I was not able to get confronted with, with the project design. Like, like I thought it would be very good, but it did not because of the complexity that I had to face in between. So on that part, I was not able to get the work done, which I wanted to do this week. Other than this, um, I don't have anything. Okay. Um, I forgot what I what I wanted. To do you still have problems with your teacher? Teacher giving you assignments, unexpected assignments in the middle of your work. No, no, no. It it was not like I was I I was working on that, but like the difference is quite big to be honest. Like. The problem was every event, every hook event that was there in the GitLab plugin used was was coming under the single umbrella. But what GitLab for J did was it divided in, into multiple parts, and I have to change the design of the plugin itself yeah. for it to work, which is quite a cumbersome task. Yeah, harsh. It was more last week you complained that your teacher at school was giving you assignments, unexpected assignments, and that drove you qu crazy. Did he yeah. do? Did, did he do that again? No, no, no. Or he's now happy. Nah, no. Yeah. <laughs> it it was not academics. Like I was not able to get it done. It was not academic. Uh, oh, okay. Good. Uh, Mark, uh, do you want to add something to what uh, Harsh explained, or somebody else on the project? I don't have anything to add. Thanks, Harsh. We'll we'll plan to talk further on Friday, and I've still yeah. got more te more testing and more exploring to do. I feel like I'm behind schedule, so thanks for Harsh's patience. Yeah, that interactive testing that you were doing with other plugins also. Uh -huh. good. But I like hearing the these good stories and good mood. So, also very good. Now let's move to uh, uh, Vandit. Hi, Mark. Hi, how are you doing? What what fun do you have, and uh, um, what can you uh, share with us? Yeah, uh, I had some fun uh, this week. I completed the developer section completely uh, with the images and all the broken links. I have completed the user documentation completely uh, with the links, and we had some we had some issue with the data table API. Uh, in which Chris, in which Chris helped me a lot because I don't know much jQuery, uh, and currently uh, I'm and I have completed the guides uh, tutorials too. Uh, I'm I'm currently working on the solutions page uh, because it has a different layout, and uh, I will update the UI according to that. And yeah, the this is all I did. The, I I I completed most of the scripting part. Some so what all the links I was struggling with, I didn't have to actually use scripting to fix them. Okay, good. That all sounds uh, good. Uh, I think Chris is the lead mentor on that project. Do you want to add something? Uh, yep. So I think we have good progress, and uh, with other tutorials as well this week. So it was good to see. I think last week it was added, but um. I uh, I'm still looking at it this week. So so now we have uh, we have users documentation, we have developers documentation, we have tutorials. Don't forget, don't forget to brag about what has been done up to now. Okay, so uh, and and I was not in the last meeting. We also have uh, uh, the demo site on uh, GitHub pages. Why? Okay. I need to be careful. I have local interference here. My granddaughters just came back from school and I hear so. 
let's continue. So we had Jakruti, we had Harsh, we had Vandit. I fear that uh, Hashutosh uh, is not uh, on the meeting. Uh, Bruno, do you have a little summary to do? Otherwise, I can do it. Oh, we can do it together. I think the last week we had uh, is the best one uh, we had to this day. Uh, we saw quite a lot of progress on the very first example. Well, but it's now well defined. We have um, beginning of script that do most of the task automatically instead of doing it by hand. So yes, uh, it's showing up good progress and showing that just about everything can be automated uh, before going to the next step. Uh, what else could I say? The next step could be uh, difficult. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we are still trying to replicate uh, what will be what ha already exists on the Jenkins I/O documentation regarding to Docker. So we'll see if Ashutosh can make it uh, easier for uh, newcomers into Jenkins ecosystem. We'll see. Jean-Marc, what would be your input? Because you're an admin. No, you you you, you nail it. Very good. So we, we start to have very good, uh, we start to have automation. We start to have the pieces that start to fall together. We're still not there yet, well, but uh, we're, we're making progress. But I think you that. and I have the same problem, but we are in a very exciting part of the project and we want to get it to progress faster so we are very tempted to put some code with our own hand which is bad uh, <laughs> so we have to uh, be very careful about that give some directions and not give the final code that already works that's not the goal of google sum of code and i played guilty uh, okay no problem so all four projects are making good progress i think we're reaching a good a point for uh, the um, midterm presentation currently planned June 6th. So I'm going to do uh, a round call uh, to double check. So Jakruti told us, and if she can confirm, she's good to do in person presentation uh, on Thursday afternoon, or evening, yes, right? Yes, yes. Okay, good. Harsh is not able to do it and he will record. Harsh, yeah. do you still hear us? Okay, good. So uh, it's because one recorded session is okay. Two recorded session, uh, I'm going to lose my hairs and this is going to fail. Bandit said in the beginning, uh, and you stop me if I say nonsense, uh, although he has exams, presenting personally is much better, and he's able to arrange to have an in-person pr uh, presentation. Yeah. Correct. And Hashutosh is able to do an um, uh, in-person presentation. Yeah. So uh, we stay then with our current schedule uh, for uh, making the the presentation on June's uh, on July six. Why do I always want to say June? Uh, July six. So, Alisa, yep. you need more information to set everything up. No, I think I have everything I need. So, um, I will set up the uh, the meetup page for us. I'll set up the the Zoom page, the dial-in information, and I'll get the uh, slide deck started. So I will be sending out the slide deck to um, all of our GSOC contributors to add their slide information to the deck. And um, yeah, we should go from there. And should we do a dry run a practice run be the week before so i mean oh wait hold on let me take a look at my calendar before i open my big mouth oh so perhaps um next thursday we can kind of do a you know a quick dry, dry run, run just see yeah. that the tool is working and uh, uh, so okay it's so not the content it's just yeah. 
you you see yeah, the uh, mentees are going to say well this now comes an awesome presentation but just to check that the video and the uh, sound works uh, correctly so not a rehearsal of the presentation itself but the technical setup yeah uh, for that is that correct yeah. alisa yes yes that is correct um I, sh I i will work on the page the both the meetup page and the um the zoom page today so i'll send that information out okay we'll uh, do a check or we follow up for questions with the lead mentors to set up harsh we just need to know uh what form will your recording be so try to decide that uh as soon as possible the big question because i'd like to try it out so if you can just record with your tool of choice uh a, a one or, or a 30 second video so they can see that i can play it correctly is that okay for you will you be, be able to manage that in your planning yeah okay Perfect. Harsh, would you be okay if we took the easy way out and just had you do the presentation to us on one of our Friday sessions and will they re record it from Zoom? Um, we can try that. Yeah. Because then you then you have an audience. The benefit of that is you have an yeah, audience. Yeah. That, and the yeah, audience will interact, interact with you and, and ask you questions yeah. and, and give yeah. you something more than just oh, you're talking to a camera. There's there's the power, there's power in an audience, <laughs> even if it's not always yeah. a perfect audience. I will need some rehearsals, so yeah, that's, yeah. that's oh, don't be shy. We we we. Can you see? Can you see? Now, so July six is the. Well, <laughs> the July six is the date, so that means it would need to either be this Friday or next Friday, depending on your schedule. So tomorrow or a week from tomorrow. Or we can schedule a separate time. Uh, maybe we talk about it tomorrow in our session then. Yeah, in, in the project meet, we can talk more about this. Now we're putting pressure on everybody. But the, the calendar is ticking, the time is ticking. So we need to get that going. Here, thank you very much for attending this meeting. Thank you very much for sharing the good news and, and the progress uh in in all that always a pleasure uh for me uh, uh we'll meet uh next week same time same place if you have worries or things you would like to discuss don't uh don't hesitate to ping your your lead mentor or anyone from the org admin team if you want to discuss a point thank you very much have a nice rest of the day and see you another time. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Have a good day, everyone. Have a good day, everyone.